A collection of more than 50 monumental sculptures situated on 40 acres of Serene Park Lake and Woodland. Tonight's hidden gem takes us to Linden Sculpture Garden. Here's Cassandra McShepard. Thanks to one of your tips, today I'm at Linden Sculpture Garden. This place is vast, it's beautiful, it's amazing, and it's absolutely free. One tip though, you're gonna wanna wear comfortable shoes. Linden used to be the home of Harry and Peg Bradley. They bought it in the late 20s. It was just a cornfield with virtually no trees. They brought in landscape architects to design this landscape. They put in the bodies of water. So even the pond? But everything. And so how many sculptures are here? There are about 50. You don't charge anything? Well, starting last June, because we were fortunate to be a place where we could reopen right after the lockdown, yes. we've waived daily admission. So it's free to come here. Uh, we're open every day except Thursday. Tell us some of the ways that people do come and enjoy and experience Linden Sculpture. Well, increasingly, now that some of the pandemic restrictions have been lifted, people are picnicking, people are having office meetings. Last summer, I saw people sunbathing. We have been offering outdoor programming through all of this, so we have monthly bird walks, we have tree walks, plant walks. We hope soon to be back to doing hands-on art workshops. We have camp programs. And there's a lot that goes on in the winter. You know, you can ice skate on the pond if it gets cold enough. People cross-country ski here and snowshoe. A point of interest within Linden Sculpture Garden is the bonsai exhibit. I have always said, bonsai trees. I don't think a lot of people have said bonsai trees, but that's not the right way to pronounce it. Bonsai. Bonsai is the Japanese word for tree in a pot. You say that these trees tell a story. They're a sculpture. They're a living sculpture. And the interesting thing about these sculptures is because they're living, they change. Unlike the sculpture you see in the landscape around here, which looks the same from day to day, because these are trees, they lose branches, they grow branches, they lose leaves, they grow leaves. They change every day. They do take a lot of tending mm -hmm. and care, and you are going to let me trim one of the trees? I am. So what we're going to do is we're going to thin this area of the tree and remove some of the biggest leaves okay. that are shadowing the smaller leaves that are oh. inside. So I'm just going to cut one now. You put your scissors in there real close to the nub and you just cut one of a oh. pair of leaves. Oh, I would take the big one here. Yeah, you pick the one that I picked and you want to cut it real close. Sorry, buddy. You got to go. Oh. You did it. Oh. Wonderful. 